attended the Mandarin High Mustangs football game in Jacksonville, Florida, and the game was Friday, September 14, 2012. The Mustangs lost against the Jacksonville Reign 30-21. Attendance at the game was pretty slim, and the crowd was mostly high schoolers, but there were some adults present. The game was very loud, and everyone attending seemed to be having a great time, and the environment was sort of like a party-like environment. I took the opportunity after the game to present my survey, which I had printed out. And the survey I presented to mostly I presented the survey to the adults. Surprisingly enough, they were all receptive and took the survey. After analyzing the results, I have come to the conclusion of the following. Most of the participants that I surveyed seemed to be fans of the Mandarin High Mustangs. And since the team had lost, their emotions were one of disappointment. Overall, they said that their experience was one of excitement and they had a fun time at the game. According to my survey participants, they liked the fun of the flow, the flow of the game. But since it's not a professional game, the audience did not expect to see perfection. And the fun, laughable moments of the game were amusing. They also liked the laid back festive environment. As for the dislikes, I can say my analysis and observation just points to the outcome of the game. As far as in-game experience, the audience did not have any suggestions for improvement. The audience was very knowledgeable of the sponsors at the game, as the sponsors were small local mom-pop shops that surrounded the high school. The survey, the, the survey participants also added that they are more likely to give those sponsors to the business because of their support of the Mandarin High football program, which I thought was pretty cool. The demographic sample was adults and parents that attended the high school football game. My recommendations to the event organizers would be to be careful in dramatically changing the event experience as the audience seemed to be very pleased with the way they put on the event. At first, I did not feel comfortable in collecting the data. I had fear of being rejected and, even though, even I, and I even looked at differently for asking participants to take this survey, which was in no way, shape, or form associated with the school. Some challenges I had were mostly all just building the bravery to approach people I did not know. But after I had approached the second participant, I guess I caught a little bravery, and I lost all fear and I did not have any issue approaching the rest. The participants also made it very easy as I did not get any no's, which was actually very good. I did not get rejected. And I didn't have anyone ignore me. Everyone was so nice to me and understood what I was doing. It also helped that I did not ask for anyone's information. It was a completely anonymous survey. I did, say, I did state the survey was part of a college school assignment, and I gave a small explanation of why I wanted them to take the survey. But since I did not look as an average college student because of my age, I was very cautious on whom I approached. Some of the challenges I had when creating my survey would be, A, trying to figure out which questions to ask. That was really tricky. B, figuring out in what order to place the questions. I wanted my que- I wanted my survey to have some type of flow to it and, and understanding. I didn't want it just to be a bunch of questions on a piece of paper. I wanted to have a meaning why I was asking this question at this present time. And I also felt that just having an organized flow of the survey made the survey a whole lot easier to collect data from. And C, finding the relevancy in each question in measurable format for collecting data and making final recommendations. One recommendation I have for myself would be to make this survey a little longer and maybe more challenging. Since this survey went so easy, I had no issues, and I feel like maybe it was too easy. I would like to create questions that would make participants think a little more about what they are going to answer. And that was one of the, one of the things that, that I that Those are one of the things that I want to do for, for uh, the future. I think... Uh, even though I spent a lot of time in trying to figure out which questions to ask and I had a, and the questions that have a meaning, the participants seemed to be flowing through the survey like nothing. I mean, I don't know if they were just not paying attention or, or but I mean, they looked like they were engaged in, in what I was speaking of and, and what the survey was about. But um, maybe next time the questions could be a little bit more uh, challenging. Thank you, and that is my presentation.